So section 4.4 shows us the relationship between uh, fractional exponents and radicals and how they are related. Now up till now we have only ever dealt with um, whole number exponents. Now though we're going to be looking at fractional exponents and I'll just give you a quick little example of one that we know really well. We know square root and we know that that's a square root because we've been told that and we know that there's a little two up here that we never write. The relationship between radicals and exponents is kind of as follows. The square root of two, and I'm just going to erase this two, well no, I'm going to leave the two there. The square root of two can also be written as two being our base to the power of one half. Oops power of one half. And this two comes from that exponent. And this power, the one, not the power, the one on that fraction comes from the power that's on this two. And remember, there's always a little one there that we never write. So if we extend that idea a little bit, I could then give you this example, the square root of, let me change colors here, the square root of 3 as a fraction would be 3 to the power of 1 over 2. 2 coming from the square root, 1 coming from the power on the, on the 3 that we never write. Now one step further, how about the fourth root of 10? 4th root of 10. <clears throat> What's the power on the 10? Well, it's a one. What's, oh, I'm gonna erase that a second. I'm gonna go a little bit further over, is a one. What's the power, or the uh, index on the radical is a four. What's my base? 10. So the fourth root of 10 can also be written as 10 to the power of one over four. And that's what this rule right here tells us. X to the power of one over N is equal to the nth power uh, or sorry, the nth root of x. And those are the examples that I just gave you. If I give you another one, x to the power of one third could also be written as the cube root of x. But x could be the power of one, because that's what this one goes for. And it actually can also be written as three root x all to the power of one because it's kind of written there but we just never write it we, we could write it there it just means it's all multiplied to, it doesn't even multiply it by itself it's just that one this actually is an extension to the next rule so that's not we don't need to worry about these powers here too much okay we're just worried about at this point <clears throat> that I can rewrite fractional exponents as roots so looking at our examples here, evaluate 27 to the one third. Now you probably could punch this into your calculator, 27 and find your power button and raise it to the power of one third and you'll still get three as your answer. But we could also rewrite this as the cube root of 27. We know the cube root is 27. We should know the cube root of 27 because it's three times three times three. There's our group of three. We're taking cube root, so we get three. 0.49 raised to the power of one half could also be written as the square root of 0 0.49. 0 0.49 square root is gonna be the square root of 0 0.7 times 0 0.7. There's our pair, square root, out comes 0 0.7. And then our last one, negative 64 raised to the power of one third, which would be the cube root of negative 64. Now remember, odd roots of negative values, our answer is going to be negative straight away. Then I just think, well, I need the cube root of 64. Well, 64, breaks down into four times four times four. There's our triple. 
it's just four. So there's the first few examples for section 4.4. Uh, come back for the next uh, video to show the rest of the examples on this page.